Hello Wobblies! Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are taking a look at the Pizza Stone, the large one, by Firebox. We purchased all the items in this video. This is not a paid promotion. The large Pizza Stone by Firebox is 8 inches in diameter and a quarter inch thick. They call it the large one because it fits inside the large 10 inch hard anodized aluminum pan. On one side it has embossed the Firebox logo and on the other side it's smooth. In this video we're going to be baking a little pizza on that 8 inch stone. The pan we're using on the bottom is the 10 inch hard anodized aluminum pan by Firebox. The pan we're using as the top of our oven is also by Firebox. It is their 10 inch cowboy plate. That's going to make our pizza oven and on top we will also put coals. I have a little grate that I'll put up on top of there to help keep them from rolling around too much. Let's just say my first attempt at making pizza using this little oven method didn't go so well. I didn't plan properly. I used the swinging grill grate because I thought it would give me an option to raise or lower the pan from the fire. That turned out to be a bad idea. And of the many things that didn't go well, I also didn't cook the pizza quite well enough. It was done but it didn't have that nice brown crust and it wasn't all caramely brown on the top either. So try number one, fail. The second attempt went much better. <laughs> Thank you. 
This time we're going with a steady tripod to set the pan on top of, so no moving parts. And we will move the fire and build the fire as needed. I made the pizza dough yesterday and it stuck to the bag that I stored it in. So it's not exactly round or uniform in any way, but it'll give our pizza character. On top of our pizza, we are putting a little bit of tomato sauce, some caramelized onions and poblano peppers and jalapeno peppers, some cooked bacon, and also some sliced black olives. And then we're topping it all with mozzarella cheese. We're gonna let it bake for eight minutes and then check it and see how it's doing and go from there. After eight minutes, it's looking really good. We're gonna let it cook for another two minutes and see if we can get it more brown on top. It's been cooking for 12 to 13 minutes and it looks fabulous. Oh my, that's incredible. As far as cleaning the stone, you can scrub it with some warm water. Um, you're not supposed to use soap on pizza stones because soap kind of can get absorbed into the stone and it evidently carries that flavor with it. So just rubbing it off with warm water seems to work pretty good. All in all, I really like this as a portable pizza oven and oven in general. I look forward to trying it out baking other things and see how it does. It's incredibly lightweight. It's a nice size. You can get a decent little personal pizza and it cooks really well. The stone does keep that nice even heat and if it's taking a little longer to cook, will you just let it cook a little longer? And, and that seems to work out fine. You're not worrying as much regulating the temperature as long as you're not burning it. You're more or less worrying about the length of time that you cook it. And that methodology seems to work really well. We'll put product links down in the description. And in the comments, let us know what you think of this portable little oven. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.